Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use VBA to send an email use your Gmail account. So this VBA script will work with uh, just about any office application that uses VBA like Microsoft Word, uh, Excel, uh, PowerPoint, Access, and Outlook. So let's go ahead and uh, open the VBA window. You can use the shortcut Alt F11 or we can go to the developer tab and click on Visual Basic. So here I'm going to insert a new module and I'm going to close the, uh, the project window and let's call this uh, subroutine send email uh, with Gmail. Before we can send an email uh, using VBA, we need to add a, a library reference by going to tools, references, and you want to look for a library reference called Microsoft, uh, I believe this is uh, Microsoft CDO. So right here, it should be Microsoft CDO for Windows 2000 library. And make sure that the library reference is checked and click on OK. Now let me open the Gmail, uh, the configuration information page. And I'll post a link in the video description. So here, before we can uh, send an email using our Gmail account in VBA, we need to know the uh, the Gmail server information. In Gmail, they use IMAP, uh, which stands for Internet Message Access Protocol. And that's just the most commonly uh, technology used to send email uh, using different clients uh, type of technology. And here, uh, let's scroll down to step two. And here, uh, here's the, we need to go uh, to the outgoing mail uh, server information. So here's the Gmail server address and we also need the, the port number, which is uh, 465. And these are the two uh, information we need for configuration. Now let's go back to uh, VBA. And so first we need to create our variables. And I need a, a new mail a variable, which I'm going to use this variable to drop a new email. And the data type will be cdo.message. And we also need to uh, create a variable to do our uh, configuration. So then I'm going to call this uh, variable mail configuration. And so I'm going to change the, uh, the n to lowercase. First, uh, cdo. Dot, there's a configuration called uh, configuration. And I'm going to create a field as variant. And here I need to create a variable to store the configuration string. So here I'm going to create air handle and in case if there's any air. So let me do this. So here I want to uh, empty out the uh, the the objects variables. So since I know for a new mail uh, variable, it's going to be an object. So I'm going to set this to empty, and as well as uh, the mail configuration uh, variable. In here, I'm going to create exit uh, exit line uh, to excel the the module. Okay, and so far so good. So now let's continue. So here I'm going to uh, to uh, create my new mail object variable. So set new mail as new cdo.message. So that's going to create a new instance. And here I need to uh, create my configuration object variable. And 
and here I'm going to load all the uh, configurations default. So mail config and dot low minus one. And here's a typo. Uh, should be mail configuration. And here I need to set the fields. So from the new mail uh, object variable that we created, and here's where we can draft the, the email information. So let's call the subject hello world. And we can uh, set the, we can uh, enter the font, which is, let's do on uh, my email. So the font will be uh, YouTube at learndataanalysis.com. So this basically uh, is the Gmail account that you'll be using. And the two will be uh, the email address that you want to send to. So I'm going to send, uh, actually I'm going to send that to myself. And we can also CC someone. I'm going to leave uh, this as blank, as well as BCC. And here's the, the text body. So what do you want to write in the email body? So here I'm just going to uh, type something simple. Uh, this is a test email. And so here, uh, if you want to send an attachment, and right here um, for my send Gmail using VBA folder, I have a file called mylogo.png. And that's my uh, logo file. So here I'm going to grab the file path. There's a method called uh, add attachments. And I want to provide the, the file path. So here is my uh, directory uh, path, and also need the file name. And that's for uh, adding the uh, email information. And here uh, I need to uh, create my Microsoft configuration uh, URL. So here let me grab the URL real quick. And now we need to uh, basically uh, populate in the fields. I should uh, I notice a typo. So here, this should be fields. And okay, here we go. Now we need to add the Gmail configuration uh, information. I just want to mention that uh, this method will also work with other email providers. Uh, if you use any open source uh, email provider that uses uh, SMTP um, type of uh, email services, and then uh, this will also work. You just need to get the configuration uh, information, like what I showed you before uh, on Google's uh, Gmail website. So here, let's enable the, we need to uh, enable the authentication. So from uh, item and ms config url and we need to um, set the smtp us e ssl and we need, we need to set the value to two and also need to uh, enable the authentication setting Here I need to provide the Gmail server information. So um, item ms config URL, and this will be SMTP server. Uh, is equals to the Gmail server. Uh, let me grab the, let me grab the server uh, address. And this will be the SMTP uh, port number. Uh, which is 465. 
And here I noticed that I have a typo here. And this will be uh, sent using two. So, um, this is just a, a default setting. I'm not exactly sure what the setting is, but I'm going to assume that it's a setting to uh, set the outgoing mail server. Now we need to provide our username and the password. and the password. Lastly, we need to uh, update the field information using the update method. And we're almost finished. So here uh, from the new mail uh, variable, and we need to provide the configuration information. And once we've done that, we can send the email. And so once, if the email is sent successfully, let's give a message, uh, email has been sent. Okay, now if I, let me just do a quick compile, make sure that there's no typo or anything. And great. Now, uh, save the file. Now, let me open my uh, Gmail account. Now, let's go back to uh, Excel. And here, let's go to View and Macros. Now, if I run the same email with Gmail macro, and I should be getting email uh, in my Gmail account. So here, let me click on Run. Okay, uh, so here I got an error. So the transport failed to connect to the server. So let me just double check. So here it looks like I made a typo and this should be SMTP use SSL. So here let me add the P. Now let's try again and go to view macros and run the same email with Gmail or macro. And this time uh, the email has been sent successfully. Now let's open uh, my Gmail account. Okay, so looks like the email is not coming to, and let me just check what's going on. Okay, so I think I figured out the issue, and so it seems like uh, I can't send, uh, so all my email accounts uh, is disabled, uh, which is the u2 at learndataanalysis.org account. And so here uh, I changed the, the form address to uh, my other email accounts, and the two email address uh, basically just uh, my personal email address. And now if I go back to uh, Excel and click on macros and I'll run the same email Gmail account. And here we got the notification the email has been sent. So now let's go back to uh, Gmail and here's the, the email that uh, I just received. And if we open this email, so here we have the attachment and so here's the, the email account, the phone is from my own personal address, and the two is uh, to myself. So basically, uh, I use a mask email address because I use G Suite, so I can create multiple email account that is linked to my main email account. And that's why uh, when you see the phone email account, it's a little bit different from the, the uh, phone account that I use in the FBA script. But yeah, so this is everything. And I'll post the FIBA code on my website so that way that you can uh, reference the, the code if you need to. And if you found this video useful, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, uh, send you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.